All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try and get the last few steps in this uh, this last video here. We're going to create a couple table legs here, um, throw in uh, maybe a spread parameter to control how far apart those uh, those legs get, and then uh, hopefully be able to get the uh, material parameters in here as well. So let's start by going back over to our reference level, our floor plan reference level, and uh, let's uh, create um, a couple. Excuse me, a couple of reference planes here. Let's uh, let's take one out here. Maybe another one. Uh, let's make it uh, maybe eight inches wide. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw something simple. I'm just going to create a uh, an extrusion here. Um, maybe something like that. All right. Finish extrusion. Let's pull these out a little bit so I can kind of see those beyond the edge of my. Uh, extrusion once I align them and just like everything else I'm going to go here and modify align let's lock this down here lock that down there let's put in a uh, a dimension here lock that down and lock it at eight inches then um, let's put in an echo stat actually let's put in two reference points first let's put in a reference point here another one here and let's put in some detail uh, some dimensions here basically I'm going to put in an equistat here to get that up so that's equally spaced there so let's go modify align and I'll lock that in place lock that in place all right so now if our um, if our width adjusts then our, our table adjust correctly as well. So um, one other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in here and put in a dimension that's going to go from the that reference plane to there. Let's add a parameter. Let's call this leg spread. Alright, we're going to group this underneath dimensions. We're going to leave it as a type dimension. And then let's flex it. Let's make this. Uh, let's make it something nice, like six foot. Hit apply. We see that our leg is updating in, uh, correctly, so we're okay. Let's go ahead and let's take this, 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 this. Uh, I'm going to grab all of this and let's mirror this over in there. Let's put in a, another dimension here. Oops. And let's set this to be the parameter as well. Uh, leg spread. And now let's test this one more time. Let's make this five foot. And we see that both of our um, legs are now appropriately moving. So we've got our leg step completely done. Um, let's take a look at uh, this thing in 3D and see how we look. All right. Now, what we need to do is go into our front view and we need to align these dimensions there. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go modify, align this here to that, lock that down, and align this to there, lock that down. Get back into 3D view. We've got uh, basically a conference table. So now the next thing let's do is um, go in and create the type parameters for the materials. So let's go to types. Let's go to add parameter. This is going to be a uh, material parameter. Um, we could make this an instance. In this case, I'm going to leave it as a type. We're going to group it under materials and finishes, and let's call this tabletop. Finish. Hit OK. Let's create one more. Let's call this table legs finish. Again, make it a material. And again, group it under material and finishes. And we're going to leave it as a type to be consistent. And let's go ahead and set something for those. Let's uh, let's say uh, tabletop. Render appearance. Let's go to the render appearance. Let's make it a, uh, make it a nice.
nice wood of some kind. Let's get out here and say, uh, yeah, how about that wood red back stained? All right, so that's the tabletop. Let's um, set one more, make it table legs. Let's make these to be you know, like something nice, like chrome or something. Uh, let's go and replace this, make it a metal. And let's say, I don't know, let's, let's do chrome polished brushed. Okay. So tabletop finish, we're going to want that to be the tabletop. This one here, table legs, is going to be that. Okay. Oops. All right. Now we're going to actually apply those parameters to here. So let's go here to the tabletop, go up to element properties, and typically we would change the material here, but we're actually going to plug this to a, to a parameter. So this is our tabletop. So let's go here and select tabletop finish and we'll notice that it automatically picks up that there and then let's select our two legs and let's go to element properties and let's plug that to be the table leg parameters hit ok and we're just about done let's create a new project flip back over save it Load it into our project. We'll place it right here. Let's throw in a camera. And why don't we go ahead and give it a nice render real quick? Let's set this to be high render. Alright, we see with the render complete that it's carrying our materials through with our tabletop and our table legs. And uh, just for giggles, we can go in here and we can go to Element Properties, go and edit the type. And we could still come in here and change the width, let's say 16 foot, and apply. And we notice that our tabletop um, is adjusting as well. We can also come in here and change the leg spread, let's say to maybe uh, 3 foot, and apply. And we'll see that our legs are adjusting as well. And that's how we do that.